Tuscaloosa TV presents in 3, 2, 1. Dateline Schools with your host, Terry Harrington. All this week on Dateline Schools, we've been learning about the Challenge for the Future, a new initiative that's being kicked off this school year here in St. Clair County. And to tell us more about it, my special guest is the Director of General Education here at St. Clair County, RESA, Brenda Tenniswood. And yesterday, Brenda, uh, Rachel gave us a good description of uh, some of the things the kids are going to be doing over the summer. Is that going to be taking place here on RESA's campus, or where are the kids going to be doing this? No, it is not. That's a great question because I think one of the things we're actually the most excited about is our eight teams are actually going to be placed, they're housed at a, at a business or a company, typically in a conference room. So they're given the problem by the business and then they're on site at that business. So they interact with employees, they are, you know, they absorb the context of the business. So it really adds, I think, a large uh, degree of authenticity to what they're doing as learners and problem solvers. And give them a good glimpse of what the work a day world is like, like you and I face every day right? you know we really haven't talked about that but that's certainly one of the aims of the program too is to expose our students to what are potential career opportunities at these businesses that they're uh, they're learning and uh, developing the, the, the solutions for I know we've been talking about what we're specifically doing for this year um, do you have a produ professional development component that the teacher is going to be involved with so that when they work with the kids? Absolutely, and I think that's one of the most critical aims and components of the program really is a professional development. So prior to the summer program, our teachers are going to be involved in six days of training around things like those 21st century proficiencies about design thinking and how do you engage students in the level of thinking that we need for the program. Then following the 10 days of the program, teachers have a day of reflection reflection where they think back about what worked well over the challenge and then they also most importantly start thinking and planning for the school year how can they take those skills and transfer them to their classroom context so we can start seeing some of that still this school year then can we yes absolutely what about some long-term goals? Anything long-term for this program? Our wish would be that we would have a challenge for the future for every grade level. Mm -hmm. Obviously, this is going to take multiple years, and that we would have a waiting list of students across the county who want to be involved in the programs. And where can parents in the business community learn more about this program again? Uh, Rachel Vershave has created a phenomenal website, Challenge4, with the number 4, challengeforthefuture.org, where there are resources available for teachers, students, and business members who would be interested in learning more about the program. For Dayline Schools, I'm Terry Harrington. Dayline Schools is a production of St. Clair County Research.